Hi, and welcome to this episode of Tech Tip Tuesdays. My name is Terry Rossi. I'm the co-founder of PixiTech. We're a managed service provider in the Philadelphia area. Today, I want to talk to you about adding an Office 365 account to your iPhone or iPad device. So this is really easy to do. The first thing you want to do is start by unlocking your phone. And if you don't have a lock screen on your phone, you want to make sure you set one up. It's really easy to do. You can do it under settings touch ID and passwords so make sure you get that set up you're gonna have your corporate email on your phone you wanna make sure everything is protected so the first thing we need to do is find our settings application and mine's up here in the top left hand corner looks like a little gear I'm gonna click on settings and then once you're in settings you'll be up here at the top you wanna to look for accounts and passwords so here's mine accounts and passwords got a little key next to it and then it, what that does is show you when you click on it it shows you your iCloud and email accounts that you have currently configured on your phone now it's pretty normal for you to have at least one but probably two or three different accounts already configured one of them might even be your work account that we're going to replace with an office 365 account it's okay to have them both on there temporarily we'll just clean up the old one after we add the new one so to add a new one we're going to click on add account and then you get prompted for some choices so you'd be tempted to choose outlook.com but really what you want to choose here is exchange so click on exchange and then you'll be prompted for two things your email address and a description so in my case my email address is going to be pics at pics.com that's the test email account I'm going to use and then for description I'm just going to use exchange test but you might use something like work account or something like that once you put those two things in then hit the next button and once you hit next you're going to be prompted to sign in to your office 365 account and by doing that office 365 will automatically configure everything for you so just click on sign in you'll be redirected to Microsoft from there you want to choose your work account so work or school account choose that option and then again you're going to put in the same username and password that you used the same username that you used for your email address so pics at pics.com and the password that was assigned by your administrator so if you don't know what this is you'll need to find out what it is you should have a password though that you have for your office 365 account so I'm gonna put our temporary password in here and I'm gonna click sign in now once I do that it's gonna validate my credentials and make sure that everything is great with my account and then it's gonna ask me what do I want to sync to the phone so Office 365 has more than just mail. It has mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, and notes, all of which you can sync to your phone. And I really do recommend that you do sync them all to your phone. By keeping your contacts in Office 365, you're able to reach them everywhere. Same thing with your calendar. So just leave everything green and hit save. And once you do that, the account's pretty much added to your phone. Now you can see back on the screen, I now have three accounts listed my iCloud account my existing office 365 account and the exchange test account that I just added so once you do that you can get out of settings and you can do that by hitting the home button and you're back to your main screen of your phone and you can see on the bottom left hand corner the blue icon with the envelope that's the iOS mail application that's what we just configured so I already have 2800 unread messages I don't read my mail on my phone too much but you're gonna start seeing your mail come in and it'll just fill in your inbox like this it may take some time depending on how big your mailbox is but I would suggest that you give it some time half an hour 40 minutes and then all your mail should be there so really simple to set up not a big deal at all once you're sure all that new mail is in there you want to delete the old mail account you go back into settings back into accounts and passwords find the old email account for your work and delete it so I'm gonna delete the one I just added but you would delete the old one and I click on the one I just added and I'm gonna click delete account so once I do that all the mail calendars anything that was associated with this account is gonna be removed from my iPhone so you wanna make sure you have the right one you can double check the name up at the top in this case exchange test and then go ahead and click the delete from my iPhone the account's going to be deleted and you're going to be right where you need to be with your new Office 365 account on your phone. Easy peasy. If you have any problems, please call our help desk and have a great day.